This video is part of the Membrane Versus series. This one considers the key differences between the MBBR, that's the Moving Bed Biofilm Reactor, and the MABR, the Membrane Aerated Biofilm Reactor. There's already a comparison of the MABR and MBR technologies in one of our other videos. Biological wastewater treatment is based on either suspended growth or fixed film processes. They're fed with oxygen either actively by pumping with air using a blower or passively by exposure to the atmosphere. And the media may either be agitated by the bubbles from the pumped air or be static. There are a number of media based fixed film processes. MBBRs and MABRs are both examples of fixed film processes with immersed media fed by pumped air. The MBBR media comprise pieces of inert materials or carriers which can be of various shapes and sizes and on whose surfaces biofilms form. It's the bacteria in the biofilm which perform the biological treatment in the MVBR process tank, in the same way as the bacteria in the flocks of the suspended growth processes. The biofilm coated carriers are suspended in the process tank through aeration, which also provides dissolved oxygen to the biofilm. For the MABR, the carrier is actually the membrane itself which can be configured either as a hollow fiber or a spiral wound sheet. In either case, the membrane sits in the process tank and is fed with air. The membrane is perm selective for oxygen, passing oxygen enriched molecular or bubbleless air through the membrane directly into the biofilm sitting on the membrane. So the oxygen transfer and utilization for an MABR is very high. A key difference between the MBBR and MABR technologies is in the biofilm structure. For the MBBR, the biofilm sits on the carrier and interfaces with the bulk liquid. The dissolved oxygen, ammonia and COD all enter the biofilm from the bulk liquid. This means that the biofilm region adjacent to the bulk liquid is aerobic and nitrifying in nature, biochemically oxidizing the ammonia to nitrite and nitrate. Next to the media surface, the oxygen concentration is much lower. This region is therefore anoxic and can convert the nitrate to nitrous oxide and on to nitrogen, provided there is sufficient amount of electron donor material, most conveniently the organic carbon, present in that region. But that's not necessarily the case if the COD has been depleted by its oxidation in the aerobic region. For the MABR, the biofilm sits between the membrane, which is also the carrier, and the bulk liquid. The ammonia and the COD enter the biofilm from the bulk liquid, as with the MBBR, but the oxygen enters from the other side of the biofilm. This means that the aerobic region, where nitrification takes place, is next to the membrane. The anoxic region, where denitrification occurs, is next to the bulk liquid, where the COD concentration is at its highest. This counterflow of nitrogen and oxygen makes simultaneous nitrification and denitrification, or SNDN, more readily attainable and controllable for the MABR. For both technologies though, controlling the biofilm thickness is pretty crucial. The MBBR and MABR are both examples of fixed film technologies supplied with pumped air. For an MBBR, where the biofilm is attached to a solid media or carriers, the flow of oxygen is in the same direction as that of the ammonia. An MABR, uses a membrane to deliver oxygen enriched air in molecular form directly to the biofilm attached to the membrane. And this flows in the opposite direction to that of the ammonia. 
The differing biofilm structure and biochemistry makes SNDN more readily achievable for the MABR than for the MBBR. On the other hand, membranes are more expensive than carrier materials.